Hey guys, my Mark O'Brien. Today we are talking with Michael Clark from Mangrove Marina and Resorts. You're gonna to wanna to check this out. They have a different way of staying in the Keys. We're here with Michael Clark of Mangrove Marina and Resorts. Michael, can you give us a quick rundown of what you guys have here? Okay, um, at the resort we have, we're a full service marina, so we provide wet slips, dry storage, bottom paint, think, excuse me, things typically associated with uh, taking care of your boat, storing your boat here. In addition, we have a resort. So we have currently 13 houseboats that we rent out on a daily basis, just like a hotel room. You can have it for one night, you can have it for multiple nights, and occasionally we do offer long-term stays on the houseboats. So Michael, we are in what is called the captain's quarters, and that is one style of the Aqua Lodge, but you have, is it three different versions here? So we have um, what are, basically our fleet's comprised of what's known as an Aqua Lodge. It's uh, built by a company called Catamaran Cruisers. The versions that we have basically have a queen size bed, uh, mini size kitchen, but uh, it's fully stocked kitchen, full bathroom, shower, living room. And there's uh, two versions. One has a lower deck off the back and the other version is an upper and lower deck off the back. It's June. We've got a beautiful center council boat uh, taken out of the marina right behind you. Obviously they don't have air conditioning. How about these houseboats? Yes, every one of the houseboats has air conditioning. We have working toilets and showers. Everyone has the kitchen that I mentioned earlier with a refrigerator. Um, we have two of them that are smaller houseboats that are for only for two guests. They have the smaller under counter refrigerator. But the other ones have the medium to full size refrigerators. Do they fish in the marina or is there fishing close by? So in this particular marina, it's called Community Harbor. We do not allow fishing or swimming in the marina. We have a full size climate controlled swimming pool as part of the resort. Fishing nearby, but you cannot fish within the, the harbor itself. Um, there is within walking distance called Tavernier Creek Bridge. You can go down there and fish. Otherwise you get in the car, drive a little further down in Amarada, it's called Snake Creek Bridge. You can fish from there. In addition, there are hundreds, if not thousands of local fishing charters that can take you out into the quote unquote best fishing place in the world. Is Mangrove Marina pet friendly? Yes, we uh, set aside a portion of the houseboats to be pet friendly. So we obviously will handle um, support dogs, service dogs, and just your regular old household pet. Cool. There is an additional fee for bringing a pet that's not associated with a service animal. If somebody were to bring, want to bring their own boat uh, and stay in an aqua lodge, is that something that is feasible? Yes, we, um, since we're a full service marina, we do allow houseboat guests to bring a variety of their own watercraft. They can bring jet skis, they can bring canoes and paddle boards, they can bring their own boat. Some of our houseboats, you can do a tie behind. Other than that, we have a floating dock or a wet slip. And there are fees associated with bringing any of those that I just discussed. We are in the upper keys. Where exactly or what mile marker are we at relationship? We are what's known as the Upper Keys, so we're just south of Key Largo, just north of Isle Morana. It's a mile marker, 91.7. Local entertainment, bars, restaurants, that kind of stuff, do we have anything close? So we actually have a facility here uh, in the resort with a bar restaurant. Um, other than that, you know, you go out, you go left, um, excuse me, you go right, you're headed down to Isle Morana, and within, you know, two miles, you've got three or four different restaurants, shopping center right around the corner from us. If you go out and you make a left, you're headed north into Key Largo. There's a couple great places up there, Snappers. Key Largo Fishery is one of the local where the fishermen bring in their haul or their catch to Key Largo Fisheries. They're processing as a wholesaler and a retailer. And literally the fish was flopping you know, not long before you ordered it. How many vehicles can a person bring or have if they're staying in an apple? So we do have parking, which is um, adequate or ample for the houseboats and our uh, the marina itself. Typically, I see one to two, no more than two. Michael, what is the best way somebody can get a, in touch with you to book a aqua lodge? So the best way is actually to go to mangomarina.com. There's a click on houseboats. 
and um, you have the ability to reserve and pay for houseboats right there. If you're going to do anything extra like bring your own boat or a pet, you'll need to contact us directly to add that to your reservation. On a totally different boat here, the Calypso. What is this you call it? The long, long version? It's or? one of the largest uh, houseboats we have in the fleet. There are actually two of this similar style as you can see behind me. It's a full rooftop deck, which people love to have. It's got three bedrooms, but four beds and two full bathrooms downstairs with a full size side by side refrigerator, which helps accommodate the folks that bring their own boat to do fishing. We usually can get them to slip right next to it for the park their own boat. They go out and fish all day long, they come home, they vacuum seal the fish, put them in the freezer, do that for five nights in a row, they pack up and leave. Most importantly, they book the same boat for next year. All Very of cool. these aqua lodges have some type of bathroom on them, but you guys actually have extra bathrooms and showers available. That's correct. So we have a full-size swimming pool that's climate controlled. Over by the swimming pool, there's two bathrooms, the men's and women's. There are also two outdoor showers that are really cool. They offer instant hot water. In addition to that, we also have a trailer set up that has shower, toilet, shower, toilet, shower, toilet. So we have five additional showers and toilets throughout the resort. So if somebody has five people on a boat with one bathroom or two bathrooms, uh, there's options for other places to go Correct. other than the one that's on the boat. Correct. Typically, if you have a family, the mother and the daughter usually claim the bathroom on the houseboat and the father and the sons are sent to the one's by the swimming pool. You mentioned to me earlier, well, there's one thing that people cannot use on the boat, and we might as well tell them about that. Yeah, the one thing you cannot use on the houseboat is a hair dryer. We have limited number of current running down the dock. A uh, houseboat um, that when you plug in a uh, hair dryer into the uh, GFI, flips the breakers. Believe it or not, you can use CPAP machines, you can use vacuum seal machines, you can use a variety of other uh, flat iron, but a hair dryer every time will get you. The one place you can use a hair dryer on the property is the bathroom is by the swimming pool. And you said you even had a wedding party show up and it wasn't an issue, right? Well, they weren't the happiest, but they all marched down there and they got all dressed and blow dried their hair in the ladies room by the swimming pool. There's some wildlife that people have a chance to see. What, what types of things might they see if they stay at one of these aqua lodges? So one of the really cool things is we're in a harbor, it's called Community Harbor, and we actually have a family of manatees that hangs out here. They're not trapped, they're not caged in or forced to stay here, but they're here quite often. We've also had recently a saltwater crocodile that's been spotted. I don't know if it's the same one or multiple ones, but on either side of the marina, we have dolphins that come in occasionally. Apparently they're chasing tarpon, at least that's what I'm told. And you get a lot of nurse sharks around here. So just look down while you're walking up and down when you're sitting on your back deck and you're liable to see one or all of the following previous. Well, obviously these are boats. Uh, they're not really ADA compliant by choice, right? Yeah, um, so we, obviously it's a dock and the boats are anchored on either side of the dock. You have to walk from what's called the finger dock to step onto the houseboat. We have had people with wheelchairs come on up, get out of the wheelchair with help. You have to walk for without help, step onto the houseboat and have an enjoyable time. We've had People with other handicaps that maybe had limited mobility still get down here and make it. Yet I've had others, when they arrive, it's a little late for that decision, but they realize, you know, with whatever handicap they have or disability, they're not comfortable getting on and off of the houseboat. So I would say, think that through before you book on any houseboat. If somebody books and they decide they need to cancel, what exactly is the current cancellation policy? So currently we offer a 30 day cancellation policy. So within 30 days, Prior to 30 days of check-in, you can get a full refund. If it's less than 30 days and it's a named storm or a hurricane and we're told to evacuate, you can get a full refund. If there's other issues, plane cancellation, call us directly, call me directly, and we'll work through potentially rescheduling or offering a credit uh, for the future.